Imagine a Pokemon game with every single region involved, like a ginormous mega map of every single Pokemon region that we know of in one video game. Now, there are a lot of reasons why this could work and why it wouldn't work, but I know that this has been a topic within the Pokemon community for a long time now. Now we're at nine generations, so a mega map would be kind of ginormous, but I have some thoughts, some theories as to how this could work. I'm also going to talk about some reasons as to like why it would not work or maybe some things that have to work around to make it work if that makes sense. I definitely think it could work out. It would be a lot of dedication, a lot of effort, many years to develop this game, but I think it could work and I feel like it would be best to do after the 10th generation comes out. So that means we would have 10 different regions within one ginormous mega map for its own individual game. It definitely would be a very ambitious project to take on. Game Freak would have to change their formula a little bit because it would be crazy to battle eight gym leaders per region because every region has eight gym leaders. And if you battle every single gym leader in 10 different regions, that's too many. So they would have to kind of change the formula. So I was thinking like maybe just one strong gym leader throughout each different region. And then at the end of the game, you know, you still battle like an elite four type of thing like maybe a world championship rather than just like a region area championship if that makes sense like a world championship pokemon league of the best of the best out of every single region out there or something like that i think that would be kind of cool to make this game work you would definitely have to have fast travel similarly to how scarlet violet you can fast travel like when you go to a pokemon center where you can heal your Pokemon. You could just fast travel to that location at any given moment because if the map is massive, you're gonna need fast travel. You're not gonna want to, you know, walk around forever or fly on a Pokemon or anything like that. It would take too long. So it'd make more sense just to have the fast travel. And I think it'd be kind of neat to have the world map unlock as you progress throughout the game. So, so like some video games, the map is kind of like a mystery. Like when you open up your map, you press, you know, the plus button or whatever it may be on that game. You open up the map and then you have some areas discovered and then the rest is just kind of like a blur like it's the question marks whatever you don't know what's there i think it'd make more sense to have that kind of be unlocked as you go throughout the game there would for sure need to be a lot of side quests side quests are great for open world games and we have side quests kind of in scarlet and violet but i feel like they're not that great i feel like hogwarts legacy is a great example of how side quests can be meaningful and give you good rewards that make it worth it. Like side quests in Hogwarts are fun and they have actual like dialogue and kind of an in-depth story and you get actual real rewards for a lot of the side quests. And I think that's what they would need to implement into a Pokemon game without throughout every single region. It's just like valuable side quests that are meaningful and actually like thoroughly thought through, not just like random ones. Side quests, you know, help you get some more money, currency, cool items, stuff for your Pokemon to hold, whatever. It could be anything. There are a lot of items throughout Pokemon games. So side quests could give you a large variety of different items, and I think that's a key point to having a big, ginormous open world Pokemon game. I don't think the current technology, the Switch, could handle this game. That's another reason why I said after Generation 10, because Generation 10 of Pokemon is most likely like like 99 percent coming out on the next console the switch 2 which was leaked or reportedly leaked i guess to have the power capability of a ps4 which a lot of people are like yeah it's outdated but that's just typical nintendo nintendo's always a few years behind with their technology so whatever the ps4 is still a powerful console and a mega map pokemon game with all the regions could more than likely most definitely work on a ps4 capable power console you know what i'm saying i'm gonna bring up hogwarts once again because i think hogwarts is a fabulous game and example for open world because it's a huge map and you could actually play it on the switch now i forgot about that while i was writing the script for this video i forgot you could actually play it on the switch it's definitely doled down a lot but you can play it on the switch which is crazy but i was going to give this example for the ps4 and xbox one because you know ps4 xbox one they're very very similar they're the same generation of consoles Hogwarts Legacy came out in 2023 and was released on the Xbox One and the PS4. The PS4 and Xbox One still have games released on them, and you could play Hogwarts Legacy on those consoles, and it still looks great 11 years after the initial release. So this technology is 11 years old, and Hogwarts Legacy still looks fantastic. Of course, it doesn't look as good as it would on PS5 or Xbox Series X or whatever, or the PC, but that's a given because it's an 11-year-old console, but it still looks great. The graphics still look amazing. 
there's like no lag it's fantastic so i think a ginormous mega map all generation all region pokemon game could more than certainly work on the switch too and because at that time we'd have 10 generations so it kind of make more sense like you know kind of wrapping up 10 generations of pokemon games kind of giving it its own like conclusion in a way not that it would really have anything to do with like the other storylines of all the 10 generations i just feel like it'd be kind of kind of cool to have 10 generations within one mega map you know what i mean i hope that makes sense it would be difficult to balance out the game the levels and everything like that but i think a game developer could definitely solve that and what i mean by like the, the levels is like let's say when you pass kanto region or something and you go to johto or hoenn wherever the game may take you next I think it would be kind of cool just to go to like random regions rather than like se sequential like one two three four five you know what i mean i think it would kind of make more sense it'd be more fun to just go to like from like go from generation one to five you know go to unova go to paldea whatever but it would be difficult because you would have your pokemon team level up to a certain level in let's say kanto region for example and then you progress through the storyline and get to hoenn how will the level system work? Will you have to retrain all of your Pokemon or catch new Pokemon or will they just be balanced out like an AI? Because now that AI is more of a thing within video games, maybe AI, I know I don't really like AI too much, I don't want it to take over the creativity aspect, but I think for certain specific ways that the game works, it could be beneficial in the sense that the AI can sense what level you are and what region you are, so you can go to like any region you want and it would just specifically make that trainer or the local like wild Pokemon or wild trainers or whatever a specific level according to your team. I hope that makes sense. I'm trying to I'm trying to explain this as the best I'm trying to explain this as best as I can, but there's also another side of that where you could um, have an option to either restart, pick a new starter Pokemon, and restart your team and just have each separate region be like a brand new fresh start in a way or just do that thing that i just said where ai kind of understands what level your team is and then whatever region you're in it'll just change the local levels to your to match your team if that makes sense i also feel like it'd be kind of cool to have maybe different enemy teams throughout every single region according to like the actual games i suppose and then have one like one enemy team that rises above them all like that controls all the other enemy teams throughout every single region and then like that's kind of who you're working towards who who to defeat at the end of the game and game freak or whoever would develop this game would have to make it so the storyline doesn't go on for too long because a typical pokemon game i'd say takes anywhere from like 20 to 30 ish hours i guess depending on how quickly you you go through it to defeat just the regular storyline so they would have to make a way to kind of make the game not exceed like 50 hours in playtime i suppose because breath of the wild is an extremely long game and people loved it so i don't think people dislike the idea of really long storyline games because we've seen it time and time again where a really long storyline game gets praised because of how good and in-depth it is and if they develop this game extremely well and take their time with it it would take a long time because it would be a pretty big map I'd personally be really down to have a 50 hour Pokemon storyline game. I mean, I think I put about 50, 60 hours into Scarlet and Violet over the last, you know, year and a half or however long the game's been out because they keep adding additional content to it, so it kind of makes sense. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. What would you want to see in a mega map region? Let me know if I forgot to mention any flaws that may happen or maybe different ways that it could work. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.